my name is Emma Grantham. I'm the owner of Euphoria Rings. I've been silversmithing for just about two years now. And in this video, I'm going to go over how I make my rings. Today, I'm going to be making a Larmar ring with this stone. Everything that I'm using, I will link down below. So if you have any questions or I got anything, it's all linked down below. So the first step of making a ring is to shape your bezel to your stone. So you just want to start out by shaping it around the stone and you want to do this as tight as possible to get the best fit for your ring. So once you have it wrapped all the way around, you are going to take a pen and make a little mark where you need to cut your bezel. You're going to take your cutters and cut right where you made your mark. So this is a little bit too long, so I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit off of that. And you want to make sure that you take off as little as possible because you don't want to take off a huge chunk and then it's too small. Because you can always take more off, but you can't add more on. Okay, so that seems like a pretty good fit. Now we're going to get into soldering. So I'm going to take my soldering board out as well as my long nose pliers. Can I look up what these are? Okay. Okay, and we get our cross lock tweezers out for this one. For our next step, we are going to get into soldering the bezel. So you're going to take the piece of bezel that you just measured to fit your stone. So you need to get the bezel to line up together. And this part can be kind of tricky, but just get it just like that. And you're gonna go ahead and put them in your cross lock tweezers and set them over your soldering board because you wanna make sure that you're always soldering right over your soldering board. So we're gonna take our handy flux and just paint it right on all over this piece of silver. And if your opening keeps collapsing, that's okay. You just need to get it back before you start soldering. So for the bezel part of the soldering process, you need easy solder to begin with. So you just cut a little snip of easy solder And you want to place it right over where you cut your bezel. So that is soldered together correctly. Now we're going to need our torch out. I just use a Burns-O-Matic uh, creme brulee torch. So you want to get that lit up. And first you want to heat the space around and under your silver. This just gets the flux and the piece of silver ready to be soldered. So once around your silver is all heated up, then you can go ahead and heat up the actual silver part. And you wanna make sure that you're heating up both sides of the cut of silver evenly, so then it solders evenly, just like that. And now just cool it in water. Once you're done soldering your bezel, you just want to take your stone and fit it into your bezel and make sure that it's a good fit. And as you can see, this one right here is a perfect fit. This next part of the process is adding the backing silver to the bezel. So this is just dead soft sheet silver, 34 gauge. And you just want to measure your silver to your stone. Okay. So you just want to measure your bezel to the backing silver. This part of the process is actually very important because you will not get an even solder if you miss this step. So you just want to hammer your silver so it is flat against a flat surface. Now go ahead and grab your soldering boards and your piece of sheet silver that you just hammered 
You're going to want to add some flux to both sides of the sheet silver as well to the inside and the outside of your bezel. You're going to set your bezel onto your sheet silver. And for this step, you are going to use medium solder. And it's very important that you use medium solder on this step so that it does not melt the hard solder that you just used for the puzzle. You're just gonna take tweezers and place your medium solder to the edges of your bezel, which is on top of your sheet silver. Now you're gonna take your torch again. Go ahead and light that up and heat the air around your silver. Once the air is heated, you're gonna go ahead and heat up the silver itself. And you wanna make sure that the bezel and the sheet silver are the same temperature so that your solder will solder evenly and solder them together instead of sticking to one part. Or, fast forward. Now we have our bezel attached to our sheet silver. So now we're just gonna cut the excess sheet silver off. But you wanna be careful that you won't scrape the bezel as you're cutting the sheet silver off. Now we're just gonna take the cup that we just made and sand off all of the sharp edges. 12 gauge half round wire and shape it to the size we need with this mandrel. So for this ring, I'm going to make it a size seven and a half. So I'm just shaping that right around the mandrel, which will give you a perfect circle shape. And now I'm going to cut it and leave a little bit of an open gap, just like so. This is because we, if you were to just not leave a gap and solder it on, it causes too much tension on the band and it will cause the band to break off eventually. So this just adds a lot of strength to the band and the backing so that they will not separate. And so I'm just gonna cut a little bit more off so that it'll fit this cab better. a little bit more and I think we should be good okay and so once I know it's the perfect size and shape for this ring I'm going to go ahead and open it back up flatten it down with a hammer And now we are going to sand down the sharp edges of this as well. We're gonna go ahead and take the piece of half round wire you just sanded down and shape it right back to that size again. Really focus on getting the perfect circular shape so that this ring is not uncomfortable to wear. You can take your hammer, hammer it right to the shape and the size, get it all perfect. Now we're gonna take the band that we just made and the cup that we made earlier, and you're going to just paint some flux on the back of the cup, set that on your soldering board, and then also paint some flux onto your band. Take our double cross tweezers, put your band on there, go ahead and set it onto your cup just like so, and you wanna take extra care to make sure that it is lined up exactly straight and that the bands are equal distances away from the edge of the cup. 
And if it takes you a minute to do so, that's fine. You just gotta make sure that it's perfectly straight. For this step, you're gonna go ahead and take your easy solder, cut two pieces of it, and then we are just going to place it on the inside of the band on top of the cup, just like so. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and take our torch and we're going to heat up the air surrounding our ring. Once the air is heated up, you can go ahead, start heating your ring. And again, you wanna make sure that the banding and the cab are the same temperatures so that the solder will solder evenly to both parts of the ring. Here we go, it's already starting to solder on this side. Perfect. Okay. Now go ahead and cool that off in your water. Oh, I missed it. that. Oh, damn. <laughs> you guys, I always forget. Okay, and as you can see, you've just created your ring. But for the starting of the cleaning process, you're going to want to boil 90% vinegar and 10% salt all together. And then you're going to leave this in until it looks white. Thanks so much for joining me for this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment any video requests you have down below. Follow us on Instagram and check out our website, all linked down below.